Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over what you guys need to do first in series 2 to stay on top of everything what I think you guys should work on first. So without further ado let's get right into it. As you guys can see series 2 is out there's a bunch of new sets, a bunch of new solos, a bunch of new mod levels. Let's get to the first thing I think you guys should do and I think this goes for no money spent people, this goes for people that spend money either which way. 100% the first thing you guys need to do is go ahead and complete the gauntlet solos. Now I did actually already make a video going over who I think you guys should pick for the gauntlet solos. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you guys go ahead and do. Now of course it might take a little bit of time. You have to go through, you have to get the rookie done, the veteran done, and of course the legend done as well. Now, you do get a 71 plus overall players for, you know, the first two. It's not much. You do get 10,000 coins there. A couple 76 pluses. You get 15,000 coins there. You get an 81 plus overall player. Then at 100 stars, you get your Gauntlet Fantasy Pack, which I know it could take a little bit of a while to get, but it's definitely worth it to do because there's a lot of good players. And I mean, there's Devin White there. Devin White? Yeah, I think it's Devin White. Devin White, uh, you also get yourself at Oliver, you get Derwin with James, you get Juju Smith-Schuster, and you get Leonard Fournette to choose from. So make sure you check my video on which one I think you guys should pick. But definitely worth it to do, plus you get an additional 25k, you get the 81 plus overall player, and you get the Gauntlet 1 Expert token at 150 stars, which you will need uh, because these players that you get from the Gauntlet Fantasy Pack, they're not power-upable, but they will be able to go ahead and get powered up once you guys actually get the Gauntlet 1 token, and you're going to need to get like the Gauntlet 2 token, and probably like the Gauntlet 3 token as well. So you're not going to be powering them up right now, but you will be able to power them up a little bit later down the road. So definitely get the Gauntlet solos done, and I'll probably end up dropping a video if there's any challenges to give you guys a hard time. Let me know down below, maybe I'll drop a video like this Sunday, uh, going over like how to beat these challenges, how to do it a little bit easier. Now the next thing that you guys are going to want to do is actually go through, go to the NFL Epic Solo Challenge. This is how you guys need to work on your Mutt level. This is how I am grinding my Mutt level so fast. I'm already up through, you know, halfway through 50. This is how I got from level 1 to level 50 so fast. And it's exactly what I'm going to be doing today to go from 50 to 60. So this solo challenge, and it's a lot, lot easier this year. Last year, you guys may have noticed, it was super long. It took me like 18 hours to do. I don't know how long this is going to take me to do. Uh, I think I spent the last about probably 10 minutes to get me halfway through 50. So I'd imagine it'll take me maybe probably about five hours, right? Five, six hours, I'd say probably to go from 50 to 60. A long time, but not as long as 18 hours straight for like last year. So as you guys can see, we have to go to the Baker Mayfield NFL Epics Challenge. And then you want to go down to, if it actually lets me click on there, you have to go down to week five, moment three. Now the difficulty of this does not matter, so just put it on easy, and this is literally the easiest one that I found, and the quickest way to go ahead and level up. So all you guys have to do, and what makes it so much easier this year, is the fact you can restart the game, and you'll continuously get your XP. So I'm gonna show you guys this, just to prove to you that it does in fact work when it comes to getting your XP. Now I don't know if this works for grinding out your Mump Master stats. I've heard people say that once you restart the game, it doesn't work uh, for grinding your Mump Master stats, like the touchdowns, the pass yards, unfortunately. So literally all you have to do, it's on rookie difficulty, just get someone quick out there. Even if you guys are rocking out with a budget squad, get like Team of the Week Hollywood Brown, Team of the Week John Brown, or not Team of the Week John Brown, Team of the Week uh, John Ross. Any of those guys will work perfectly. Now, as soon as you score a touchdown, just go to replay challenge. I'm going to show you guys this. I'm going to do it two more times just to show you I'll get the XP for every single time that you play. Now, again, like I said, it's going to take a while, but it's definitely worth it to do to get yourself the uh, Tory Holt, the 89 to 90 overall power pass. And we don't know what else there's actually at level 60. They didn't like reveal anything uh, like some sort of a special pack at level 60 or anything that we know about. But still, leveling up is going to be big. Get those player packs, get a head start on those, get the collectibles, get the packs, get the coin quick sales. Everything's going to be a lot better to get it a lot quicker. So as you guys can see here, final solo challenge, all you have to do is throw a streak here. I'm going to score a touchdown. You might want to score a touchdown to get the extra XP. Uh, but as you guys can see, let's go ahead and return to challenge here. And 
it, we'll get our little bit of XP. So we'll get XP for all three years. So as you guys can see, because we did complete the bonus as well with all this, I don't even know if you actually have to score the touchdown here, but complete game slash challenge, right? Gain at least 50 offensive yards and score at least three points. The touchdown gave us an additional 40 XP. So we get 110 there. Now, as you guys can see, also complete the game, score at least three points, and give an extra 40 points. Now, it's going to be, it's a little bit different now. They kind of made it a little bit slower to level up because of the fact you can see here, now we're missing 20 XP because you don't get that little 20 XP bonus anymore when you just restart the game. So, unfortunately, it's only going to be 90 XP every time after that first one, which is 110. But you can see here, I'm already halfway through my level 50. I've been playing for like 10 12 minutes so definitely the fast way to level up and 100% you guys want to work on getting leveled up because there's so many things that you get going from level 50 to level 60 and this is just why it's so important that you guys need to grind your mud level as fast as you guys possibly can whether it be up to if you're not even 50 yet you definitely need to get it done and if you are 50 try and get to level 60 as fast as possible because there's a lot of packs in the store you guys should get now of course if you don't have money to buy the 86 overall fantasy packs or whatever that's cool but even the coin ones are still good because you get like a platinum player quick sell in there, which will make you profit. Plus, you get the 84 overall players, depending on which one's going for more. You get a gold premium pack here at level 52. At level 53, you get an upgrade token for your Toriel and level challenges. 54, you get 30k coins. 55, you get an 87 to 88 overall power pass. There's so many good options for that. I have a, a video I just released like a week ago over that. Uh, level 8, if level 56, you get another 86 overall and 84 overall packs. 57, you get a Grand Iron pack. 58, you get another level master upgrade token and level challenges. 59, 30,000 coins. And finally, at 60, you get an 80, 90, 90 overall power pass, which, which I will be making a video of what I think you guys should do with your 89 to 90 overall power pass. The best players to do it, probably that video will be out tomorrow for you guys with the mutt level so those are the first few things you need to get on you need to get the gauntlet done and you definitely need to work on getting your mutt level up and of course i already showed you guys the best way to do that now after that the number one thing i recommend you do after that is working on getting serious trophies now whether that is through of course the series two multiplayer wins which you can get that through mutt champs rank draft salary cap and of course head to head seasons which honestly my personal opinion, the best way to go in and get yourself some Series 2 trophies, and the reason you want to get your Series 2 trophies so quickly is because you want to take advantage as quick as you possibly can of Melvin Gordon. Now, not the NAT version, but it, this is like only for the extreme people, right? Obviously, first off, you're going to want to try and get as many Coach Madden collectibles as you possibly can. And Series 2 trophies are going to be big right now. In general, trophies are just really good when it comes to getting yourself coins because you can use it on touchdown packs, whatever. But... If you have got a lot of time, this is only for the extremists. If you can get 2,000 trophies, I know it's going to take a long time to do. If you can get 2,000 trophies, though, and be one of the first people with this Melvin Gordon, you can sell him for a ton of coins. You can really sell him for a lot of coins, and that's only for you people that are going to have a lot of time to go ahead and get that done, though. Now, the ways I recommend you guys go ahead and try to get yourself some Series 2 trophies are going to be going through the Mutt Draft. That's probably the best way to go ahead and get yourself some trophies, in my opinion. Definitely one of the quickest ways to get yourself trophies, as you guys can see. If you enter into the Ranked Draft, you get yourself a decent amount of trophies here. You get 60 trophies for just 6 wins. And, of course, that does add on to your new progression list, so you get more objectives done, and you'll get some more trophies as well from just doing that as well. Now, also, this weekend... Weekend League. Weekend League is double reward. So if you guys have not already played Weekend League and you haven't played solo battles, this is definitely something you need to try and get done. I personally have not even started with Weekend League just yet. But just to show you guys, it is in fact double rewards. This is all something you guys need to get done today. As soon as you possibly can. As you guys can see, I actually don't think I can show you guys the rewards through that. I'm going to have to go into here and go to event details to show you. But it is 100% worth it to do, as you guys can see right here. Rank number one gets 412k and 1760 trophies. Just ridiculous. Even if you only get to Legend, which is probably where I'll be, you get 100,000 coins and 600 series trophies. That's a lot. And if you pair that with doing solo battles, you pair that with doing Mud Draft. You guys can get a lot of those trophies that you need in order to get Melvin Gordon. Plus, you get four touchdown packs, a bunch of red zone packs. Even if you only get to MVP, which I think is 15 wins, I want to say. Uh, that's 72,000 coins, 460 series trophies, two touchdown packs, the red zone packs. It is definitely worth it to play Weekend League. Play solo battles as well. This is something you guys need to get done if you have not already started doing it. Now, once you guys have done those steps, basically, it's up to you what you want to do next. But honestly, new pack odds. Why not have a little bit of fun? I personally like these vertical packs here and there just to see if I can pull myself something good. 
81 TJ Watt out of the get-to-go player pack. Of course, the pack odds are a little bit better for Series 2. There's a bunch of new Series Redux players currently in packs as well. So besides playing the gauntlet, working on your mellow those are two number one things I recommend you guys do. Play solo battles, play weekend league, and of course, mess around with some exchange sets if you want to. There is a new exchange set you can do, 287 to 88, gets you 189 to 90. I'll be dropping probably 10 of those packs on Sunday for you guys to see exactly how well they're going to act out. But with that being said, that's the thing you guys need to do first in series two I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys did make sure you drop a like on the video hit that sub if you guys are not already subbed the channel i'll see you guys next time